Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk about my favorite contemporary books. One of the questions I get asked most frequently are what are some of my favorite contemporary books? Well, I tell most of you guys to go check out my Goodreads. I know not a lot of you guys do that, which is totally fine. So I thought I would make a video about it. There is a lot of contemporary I'm gonna talk about today. So I will try to keep the synopsis of these books very short and sweet. So yeah, I will leave all the links down below to all the books I mentioned so you can go check them out for yourself. And yeah, I love contemporary. You guys know that. It's one of my favorite genres to read. I like adventure. I like action. I like all that kind of stuff. I also love contemporary. You know, so let's talk about my favorite contemporary novels. And these are in no order, by the way. So if you're thinking that I'm about to list my favorites from the start, no, no, no. They are totally by random. However, I stack them in front of me. What I want to talk about is My Life Next Door by Honey Fitzpatrick. I believe this came out last year. This is about a girl named Samantha who falls in love with her next door neighbor, and it's a very, very sweet and nice story, and I love the family dynamic in this story. It's one of my favorites, honestly. Next book is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, and I will talk about another Morgan Matson book soon. I actually just read this one last month, and it was so amazing I had to put it on the list. It's about a girl named Taylor Edwards who goes back to her summer, like, house with her family for one last summer because her dad has cancer and it's all about the summer they have there and about her reconnecting talk to when she was 12 and she's now 17 it's kind of awkward this is such an amazing book I really feel like it really gives a true glimpse into the lives of people that are dealing with family with cancer it made me cry it was the first one that ever made me cry I'm not saying that's why you should pick it up but I really really love this book I think it's a great contemporary a very sad contemporary very very good Speaking of almost very, very kind of sad books is The Running Dream by Gwendolyn Van Dreer, if I'm saying that pronounced. I don't have that book in front of me right now because I'm lending it to somebody. This is also a contemporary book and it's about a girl who loses her leg in a bus accident and she was a runner in high school and it's very, very hard for her to cope with it. And it's just, the whole book is about her coping with it and having hope. This book will really, like, I think, motivate you. It'll motivate you to live life as full as you can to just open your eyes up to things and I loved it. One of my all-time favorite books if I'm going to be honest with you. The next book which I also do not have because I got from the library like years ago and that is Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Isn't this cover amazing? Like one of my favorite covers of all time. I love this book. This is about a... this is going to be such a weird, weird um, synopsis but let's just go with it. It's about a group of pageant queens. Yes, that's right pageant queens who are on a plane headed to a pageant and guess what? The plane crashes into an island and they're all alone. It's just beauty pageant queens on a desert. It, this book is wildly funny and is just awesome. I highly recommend this one. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Row. Another kind of sad but amazing contemporary book. This takes place in the year 1986. It's about, of course, Eleanor and Park and how they met and how they fell in love. I really love this book because I feel like it depicts a true story of love. Sometimes when I read contemporary books, I feel like the love is kind of like not real like the guys in it are just like oh, this this is too good to be true this one I feel like it's the nail on its head like I feel like this is a real love and I love this book so many sad books I'm showing you right now but you know and you get what you get The Waiting Sky by Lauren Zeeland I love this book I don't think a lot of people know about it and I honestly I will tell you honestly I bought this book on Amazon strictly because of the cover. I thought the cover is so cool, one of my all-time favorite covers. I mean, the girl holding a tornado in a jar in her hands. Pretty freaking awesome. This is about a girl named Jane, and Jane is dealing with an alcoholic mother, and her brother escaped that, and he went on to be a storm chaser, and he chases storms and tornadoes, and so she joins him for the summer, and it's about her doing that and her coming to the grips with her mother and trying to get past that. Amazing book. I hate that it's so short. I wanted more, but it really shows a story about people that have, about teens that have parents that have problems and, you know, sometimes like that. And you need to read sometimes like that. I would definitely recommend reading this book. I think it was a great, great, great read. Next two books. I don't have one of them, but I have the other one. Any book by Stephanie Perkins will do. Right now I'm holding Lola and the Boy Next Door. Of course, there is and in the French Kiss, amazing books. This is like a part of a three trilogy that's like intertwining contemporary. I would definitely recommend reading Anne and the French Kiss first and then reading Lola and the Bowie Next Door. Anne and the French Kiss is about a girl named Anna who goes off to boarding school for the year in Paris, of course, and she meets a boy named Etienne St. Clair and it's just beautiful, loving, awesome. This book is about a girl named Lola and she is a, she loves costumes, she loves doing her crazy stuff to her hair as you can see, purple hair hopefully you can see. Anyway, she reconnects with her neighbor named Cricket, 
what a cute name. And, and yeah, Stephanie Perkins are just books that make you happy and make you smile and giggle and maybe not giggle, but you know, that kind of feeling. The love feeling. That's what I mean, kids. <laughs> Uh, books that make you happy, or not books that make you happy, but just amazing authors in general, is Sarah Dessen. Now, I'm holding one book, but Sarah Dessen has many. Like, here's all the books, I think. Um, she has written so, so many. I think this is one of my favorites, that's why I'm holding it up. And to answer a question, I have been asked a ton, a ton, a ton, which Sarah Dessen book is my favorite. And I was thinking about a video strictly on Sarah Dessen, so if you guys want that, please let me know. If enough people say they want it, you shall receive it. Sarah Dessen is like one of the queens of contemporary, in my opinion. She writes amazing, amazing contemporary books. I won't tell you about all of them because that would take forever. So if you want a video on it, please let me know. This is Anna and the French Kiss, so I obviously didn't look when I started. <laughs> series it's like a trilogy I guess you could say it's the perfect chemistry series by Simone Eccles this is actually the second book called World of Worlds of Attraction the first book is a known I think I give it to a friend the series is actually about three brothers the Futon Futonez butchered it let's just be honest about that it's about their the first one is about their older brother named Alex the second one's about their the middle child named Carlos and the third one is about Louis Louis I think I think Anyway, they're all very, very romancy. Very the first one will always be the best one, in my opinion, Perfect Chemistry, but I definitely recommend picking this one up. The next book I have is Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour. Remember Second Chance Summer when I talked about it? This is also by Morgan Matson, and I loved this book. I read this book back in May, and it's quickly become one of my favorites of the year. This book follows a girl named Amy who um, her dad has died, and she cannot find herself to drive a car because that's just how he died in a car crash. Her mom moves to completely across the coast and it is Amy's responsibility to get to the car to there so so her mom enlists an old um an old childhood friend named Roger and they take a road trip and I love this book this book is full of road trip goodness like it has photos in it it has like little ticket stubs it has playlists in it so I would definitely recommend reading this one it was so fun so cute I love this one love it like can't say it enough <laughs> book or should I say author is Cody Keplinger and my favorite of hers is The Duff and this stands for The Designated Ugly Fat Friend. Awful thing to say to somebody I know but this story is about a girl named Bianca who is always known as The Duff you know the Designated Ugly Fat Friend at least by this guy named Wesley so he decides to be nice to her in order to get closer to her friends so he can make out with him and stuff but then Bianca's life gets started gets sort of tough so she uses Wes Wesley as a traction for herself for her from her own life. I love Cody Keplinger I, fr I find her writing style very witty very sharp. I love that kind of writing. The book is Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler, which is right here. I mean, the cover alone should make you want to read it, right? Powder cookies. There. This is about... I forgot her name. Hudson? I think her name's Hudson? Ugh. It's about a girl who works in the diner with her mom, and she is known for making these awesome cupcakes. Every chapter begins with a cupcake, and the description of it, like, it makes you want a cupcake every chapter. It's about her and rediscovering her dream and how she lost that dream and things like that. I love this book. I really find it'd be a good wintertime read for you, so trust me on that. What I also do not have, because it's been lent to a friend, is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry amazing book. All the hype you've heard about this book, it is totally worth it. It's about a girl named Echo and she has all these scars on her arms and she can't even figure out why herself and she hides from other people and she has a troubled past and there's something block her memory. And you're in Noah who is like the kind of bad boy but he's actually really trying to fight for rights to get his brothers back out of foster care and throw them two together. It is awesome. It's amazing. It's so so good. Love it. Next series I have is The Sister of the Traveling Pants by Anne Brashers. This is the oldie but a goodie. I read these way back in the day, like when I was 13 maybe. This is, I think it's five books and then it has an adult book where they are, it's like a sequel to it. It's pretty much about a group of friends who find this mysterious pair of pants that fits them all. And it's about their summers, each book takes place of a summer and how their lives progress over the summers. Amazing, amazing series. If you don't like the movies, because the movies are... Uh, I like the movies, but I mean, they're never going to beat the books in my opinion, but I love the books. Check them out. Those are my favorite contemporary novels. Please tell me what your some of, some of your favorite contemporary novels are. I know there's tons that I may be missing or I haven't read yet. I love hearing feedback. So I hope you guys pick up any of these books and let me know if you've read them and let's just talk about them. Let's chat about it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.